about seven months ago, I made a video on this game and it turns out that it had a lot of problems. This is Icarus and I rated it a two out of five watermelons. A few days ago, I decided it was a good idea to go and see what had changed and give my sort of updated opinion on it because I did want to say that this game would be better with a couple months of development. The Rocketworks team has been hard at work with this game and having a major update every week. It's a good feat, but a lot of the updates are not really major in the sense that Steam allows them to say. At the time I had posted my initial review, only mission updates had been implemented into the game. And I'm not going to read all of the updates, but, but I will highlight some of the better updates. And that being workshop additions, backpacks, resource balancing, farming overhaul, deep ore mining. Um, they added a light slot. They reworked the solo talent tree, which is very good. Talent respecking, changing of how the game timer works, which we'll come back to. Some new bosses, world bosses, which I think is a really good thing. And a horde mode, which is something. Now the game still has its physical bugs where things will fall through the ground. They've added a few new animals and I shot one out of the sky. It, it was a bird and it fell through a rock like dead ass fell through the landscape, which was hilarious. There are still spawns of ore veins in the landscape that you can't access. That's fun always. So really nothing has changed with the physical engine. They did a lot of graphical updates so you won't get that weird shaders thing. That's pretty much all has changed about the engine itself and how it runs. The mission timer, I think, is a big thing because it kind of backtracks from where they wanted the game to be initially. They wanted it to be something like a pressure to have missions done at a certain time. You know, they have the seven day timer, they have three days, one hour, stuff like that. They wanted it to be something that had a pressure on you. And what they changed was stopping the timer out of play for offline gaming. I see this as kind of a compromise anyway because you can still play alone in an online session and you can also keep yourself pressured, which I like to do. I think it's a valuable aspect of the game, but it seemed a lot of people didn't actually enjoy that aspect if they were playing offline and that's understandable. Like you would like to come back at whatever point, it's just a more comfortable thing in today's gaming society. It's not supposed to be a second time job, which is what some people were referring it to be. The world bosses I think are nice. It's giving a more intense feel of a mission, which is something that I would really enjoy from a hardcore game like this. The chilling thought that an alpha will come and pack me up like a present is something to be desired. I think I've covered most of the things I want to talk about. It was nice to reconsider Icarus. Given more time, I feel like the devs will keep putting more and more into the game. This isn't really a dead project to them, and I don't see them giving up anytime soon, which I think is a good thing. I said it in my last video, the game will continually improve because I think the devs behind it have a good idea of what they want. So maybe in a year or so, I'll end up making another video like this, reconsidering again. I would say the rating probably bumped up to a 3.5 or even a 4. Icarus isn't a bad game anymore. I think new people playing the game would actually have a lot of fun, despite all the physical engine stuff that sometimes may get a little frustrating. But before you go, if you're wondering where all the content is coming from and why you can see my face in the video, that's because I'm live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash TWBro. Link will be in the description. Go ahead and give me a follow. That's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.